Okay, today I'm with you Excel. I'm going to show you how to fill this table using data entry form. So this is my Excel and the, the, the way of filling this, you need this form here, like set of a form. So if you don't have it, you can always add it from file, options, then customize your ribbon. Then you go here from choose command from, make sure you go to for all commands. And because all commands will pop up on your dialog box, that means you need to select for the form. So by pressing F, then look, make sure you go for the one which is form. Here, this is it. Then after you just have selected it, then push this add button, it will appear on your tabs. So for my case, I have done this already. No need of repeating this again. So I'll just cancel. Then I'll now show you how to fill this table in a very simple way using this form. So make sure you have your cursor in here, then click this form, okay? What it says, it says Microsoft cannot determine, so what it says, it needs at least some data which is already here. So for my case, I'll put one, we need some data, Arnold, so that it knows, then occupation, okay, so after doing that, you can just press now your form, so now it knows. It's like you have trained it already. So in order to go for another row, you just need to press enter. Okay, you go for another. So an ID, number two, name, for instance, Albert Einstein. Then occupation, relativity, for instance, relativity. Then enter, then you go for another one. Number three, maybe Roger Penrose Relativity for instance Relativity Then enter you see so this is the customized form ID maybe number four uh, Anthony Van Lee Hook I'm not sure the, the spelling, any, just like that, for instance, biologist. Then enter. So you see, you can you can just fill in a very simple way using these forms. And mind you, this ID name occupation depends on your Excel here, on your table. So you can have a lot of columns, depending on how you, your column is. So this form in Excel, actually it helps you to fill your data easily by just putting and punching these numbers or text data in a very simple way. And you have other options. You have a new record. You can find next or find previous here. Find previous, you see, just go back. Find previous again to number three, Roger Penrose. Find next. And you can also go with criteria. So this is the way of filling your data entries. And it shows you the number of records. There are four records. You see? So this is the way of filling your data in Excel using the form, actually form, tab application in your Excel in a very simple way. So this helps when you have a lot of data. So this is the way you're going to use it. Thank you for watching and listening. Make sure to subscribe or push a like button for more videos like this. Thank you a lot.